The purpose of this video is to go over dividing whole numbers for day eight of our innovative classroom activity. The standard that goes along with this activity is uh, to fluently divide multi-digit numbers using the standard algorithm. Now because it says the word fluently it anticipates that students in the sixth grade can do this as fluently as if they were reading something very very quickly without a whole lot of thought. So I'm assuming that this is an activity that students have done in the past and this is uh, just going to build on what they already know, perhaps serve as review. It will also be a starting point for when we get to uh, more difficult activities such as dividing fractions, dividing decimals, that sort of thing. Our I can statement is I can fluently divide multi-digit numbers using the standard algorithm and all that means is the process through which you will divide multiple digit numbers. Multiple digit numbers being numbers that have more than one digit. Now there's a little bit of vocabulary that goes along with this that I anticipate students who are um, fluently able to multiply multi-digit numbers should know. When you divide, the number you are dividing is the dividend. So the number you're dividing, the bigger number will be your dividend. The number you are using to divide is the divisor. So the smaller number is going to be the divisor and you're going to try to find out how many times will the divisor go into the dividend. And the answer is the quotient. So however many times the divisor goes into the dividend, that will be the quotient. That will be our answer. Now anything that is left over is the remainder which is denoted by capital R. I have seen it uh, with a lowercase r but I the materials that we have been using uh, to stay consistent with them. We're going to use the capital R. Now for an example of a standard algorithm, let's look at this problem here. Let's say that I have 545 divided by 23. In this situation 545 would be the dividend and 23 would be the divisor. There is no easy way to solve this uh, division problem uh, in the method, in the mode that's in right now. Uh, it would just be very difficult to do that mentally. So what I would recommend is to rewrite that and use this standard algorithm. I would say 23 will go into 545 times We'll go into it, we'll go into 545 times, X number of times. Now the first thing that um, I'm going to do is just run through this one, how I would solve it if I were a sixth grade student. I'm not going to do a whole lot of uh, explaining place value and that sort of thing. There is a Khan Academy video that my students will be watching in conjunction with this activity and I don't see any point in reinventing the wheel. Khan Academy does a wonderful job on this um, exercise so uh, but I will kind of just very quickly show how I as a sixth grade student would solve this problem. Well the first thing I would do is I would look at will 23 go into 5 and I know it will not. 23 will not go into 5. Will 23 go into 54? And, and yes it will. Now my mental math tells me that 23 times 2 will be slightly less than 50. 23 times 3 would be a little bit less than 75 because it's very, very close to 25, and I'm thinking of it that way. I know 3 would be too many times, and 2 will be the right number to use so far. And 2 times 23 will give me 46. Now let's do a little bit of subtraction. I'm going to have to do a little bit of regrouping here. 14 take away 6 would be uh, 8. And then 4, subtract 4, cancel itself out. 23 will not go into 8, so I'm going to bring this 5 on down. Now, how many times will 23 go into 85? 4 would be too many, because this is very close to 25. I'm thinking 4 would be very close to 100. 3 would be more like it, because I know it's going to be a little bit less than 75, but I know 4 would just be too many. So 4 times 23, that's going to give me 69. Now once again, I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, regrouping here. 15 take away 9 is going to give me 6 and 7 tens take away 6 tens will give me 110. So I now have a remainder. So 
23 will go into 545 23 times with a remainder of 16. Now I could check this, check my work. I could say 25 times, I'm sorry, 23 times 23 and then add 16 to that product, but uh, I don't think that's necessary. I'm pretty sure that this is the right answer, but for those people who wish to check their work, they can simply multiply the divisor by the quotient and then whatever your fact, uh, whatever your product is, add your remainder to it, and there you go. So this is how I, the sixth grader, would do uh, division using the standard algorithm. And I feel like I did that fairly fluently, and hopefully my students will be able to do so as well. I hope that this video has helped. Thank you.